video where I will show you how you can uh, make the vehicle probably slide and to show all the information on this small uh, display by a hidden menu. So let's get started. You probably know the board computer is controlled by this stick which changes the menu uh, information displayed on the driver's display. There is another small knob to reset the trip computer and this is the one we will use. Okay, so by just pressing the button you reset the trip of computer but when you hold it down for around around 10 seconds then a menu pops up or at least should. Yes, it does. Now you can view identification systems, test and so on and so on. When you want to turn off uh, the ESP and ABS systems of the vehicle, just press start roller, you control, and now you are in a mode, testing mode, which should not be used on public road, as you can see by the by the warning status symbols displayed everywhere, because you are on your own. To get back to your normal status of the vehicle, as you can see, also the ESP button is illuminated. It's a beautiful small i3 right there. If you want to turn it off and get back the vehicle so your grandma can drive it, just turn off the ignition. When the vehicle is off, you can press also the button, but uh, then the menu pops up to show you and indicate the service intervals of the vehicle. The need for service can be also displayed on the I drive where we go to vehicle status and the need for service and now you can display it at any time you may wish. So once again I've hold down the menu uh, the button right there for ten, around 10 seconds and now we can go into the identification system menu and you go into the menu by pressing uh, the button for a longer period of time and you switch between these other uh, modes as you can see. You can also display the VIN number of the vehicle, which will be important because if you count the last digits of that system, then you can unlock the menu by pressing or going to the menu 10, inputting the code of the last digits of the vehicle. In my case, it's 31. And once again, pressing for a longer period. Now we can see an additional displays in the menu. For example, fuel status of the tank, the uh, probably the resistance of the tank, the capacity remaining because this is the range extended version which has the plug right uh, beside the left fender and many different more many different information for example well, how uh, the vehicle is charged but this is also on the board computer. Uh, by the way if you are driving still the the upper portion of the display refreshes information so you won't get lost if you do this while driving but I do not suggest uh, to do so. So when we want, want to go back we just hold down the button and we click to for example the temperature statuses and we can see the temperature data, outside temperature, coolant temperature, oil temperature, what's the temperature of the batteries if they are not overheating for example during summer and then the board computer, uh, well board computer listings or settings when it has been reset what's the distance you've uh, covered, what's the battery drainage uh, you've consumed, what's the battery energy used, for example, and so on. And once again, the correction factor is not needed. This is all from my side. If you have any questions regarding the menu, don't hesitate to contact me uh, in the comments and I'll answer every single one of them. And by the way, if you want to exit the menu, I've turned the vehicle off, you can turn it off completely and just get out or you may go down. This is one of the disadvantages, you, you just press end test and you are back into square one. The vehicle is ready to be driven. So enjoy, vehicle stay safe, don't forget that ESP and ABS is both turned off when you are in the roller setting, so make sure you do not crash. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.